So I got really tired of buying laundry detergent, so I looked up a recipe to make homemade laundry detergent using ingredients that you can get at Walmart and essential oils. So I just wanted to video it and show you all how I'm going to make it. So if you want to try it, you're more than welcome to, and I'll let you know how it works out. So all the ingredients you're going to need is some type of um, soap. Um, you can use Zoat soap or Fells naphtha. Um, I'm just using Kirk's because I heard good things about it. It's a coconut oil soap and coconut oil of course is great for you. So um, very simple ingredients. I'm also using Arm & Hammer washing soda as well as Borax which is a detergent booster. And this was at Walmart for $3.97, this was $3.97, and this was, I don't know, 2 or $3. Um, so right there, that's, that's all you need. So that's really cheap. So the first step, I just opened up one of the Kirk's coconut oil soap. And all I'm going to do is just use a cheese grater and just grate it into this bowl. This is Raleigh. She's watching the experiment. So then when you have all of the soap grated up, then you add one cup of the borax and one cup of the Arm & Hammer washing soda. And you just mix them in. And then you can, depending on what type of container, you can put the top on and shake it. Okay, so now that I got the soap, borax, and the washing soda all mixed in together, I'm going to use um, doTERRA's Purify, which is a cleansing blend. It has lemon, lime, um, a few furs, pine, citronella, melaleuca, cilantro, um, a lot of citrus and pines, which is, the citrus are antibacterial, really good for cleaning, um, and the pines are good for cleaning as well as um, just smell in general. Um, so I'm going to add 20 drops of this and then I'll be done. So I'm just going to mix it up. Um, since there are citrus oils in this essential oil blend, I'm going to put my uh, mixtures in glass because um, sometimes depending on the type of plastic, um, citrus oils will start to disintegrate plastic. So I'm just going to add 20 drops, mix it up, put it in my um, glass jar and then I'll be done. So that's it. It makes about a, I think this is a quart, a quart size mason jar. Um, and I just use about one scoop for a regular size load and then two scoops for a large or super dirty load. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and probably make about two more of these just so I don't have to do it um, for a while. Um, the only thing differently that I'm going to do with the next two batches is when I did grade the soap, grate the soap, I used the larger grates for most of it. Um, but I think just how fine all the powder is, I'm going to use the um, the thinner, thinner grate part. Um, so that's the only thing I'm gonna do differently, and that's it. So if you have any questions, um, let me know how I did it and I'll definitely let you know how I do it. My, my mom's been doing it for a while so that's how I know that it's a good recipe um, and I'll attach the blog that I use the recipe from.